हेलो एंड वेलकम यू आर वॉचिंग भविष्य एंड आई एम होस्ट ए पी फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द अल्ट्रासोनिक इंटरफेरोमीटर एक्सपेरिमेंट दिस इज द अल्ट्रासोनिक इंटरफेरोमीटर वेयर माइक्रो एम्पियर करेंट इज मेजर्ड हेयर एंड दिस इज अर्जेंट नॉब दिस इज गेन नॉब एंड दिस इज अ फ्रिक्वेंसी सेलेक्टर दिस आउटपुट इज कनेक्टेड विद द क्रिस्टल एंड नाउ आई विल शो यू the main instrument of this interferometer this is it this is the main instrument of a ultrasonic interferometer which consists micrometer screw gauge cylinder reflector etc and uh, i will show you how the reflector looks like so by removing this cylinder you can open and see this is the reflector and which reflect the generated wave and we got standing wave in which maximum and minimum reading shown here on the micro ampere meter here you have to feel the liquid and this both are for the temperature constant if you have to feel the liquid inside this cylinder okay now remember fill the liquid completely inside the cylinder uh, but carefully that liquid should not fall on the crystal so take precaution now this micrometer screw gauge this is the micrometer screw gauge by changing it you will get your maxima and minima in the current meter if for take reading determine the zero error so you should know how to determine the zero error or what is the positive zero error or negative zero error okay for zero error just coincide the vernier scale with the main scale zero and uh, observe the reading you will find your error so you can see here we are try to coincide with main scale and uh, we will show you what we get in our zero error so see this is the main scale reading and which we are rotating this is the vernier scale so we try to coincide this vernier scale with uh, main scale zero just coincide don't go beyond this uh, zero line so here you can see that we approaches at uh, zero and here we got approximate negative zero error because our uh, main scale zero coincide with uh, 42 42 or 42th line of this vernier scale that means uh, we have 10 to 12 negative zero error and this negative zero error should be added in our total scale reading so before taking output reading first determine this zero error because this effect on your velocity of a sound okay now what you have to do just feed this inside the crystal and tight it now open the reflector and fill inside it the experimental liquid you can determine this uh, velocity of ultrasonic sound by using different different liquid or uh, at a different different uh, frequency here we had used water as experimental liquid and let's switch on and see what's the things going on see 
here the frequency selector having range 1 to 5 megahertz so you have to take the reading for uh, 1 megahertz for 3 megahertz and for 5 megahertz so here we will show you at uh, 1 megahertz so first of all put both knob at high means adjacent as well as the gain knob should be high since adjacent knob provide you the range means whatever you want where your uh, maximum reading should shows this adjacent knob provide and this gain knob is for the sensitivity of this current meter so according to theory your uh, adjacent knob value should be greater than the gain knob value so let's put it at uh, 20 by adjacent knob and by using gain knob we put it at 10 so you can see clearly that our uh, adjacent value is greater than the gain value okay you can put according to your observation whatever you want so now let's by adjusting it by adjusting it take the reading how to take the reading you should know how to use the micrometer screw gauge because if you don't know how to use uh, you will find you will face the problems so rotate this micrometer screw gauge anti-clockwise and you will find your uh, meter scale is showing deflection so at a particular point your uh, current meter scale shows the deflection at a maximum so note down that reading and continue move or rotate your uh, micrometer screw gauge and uh, note the multiple of a uh, maximum reading and by applying formula you can determine the sound uh, let me show you how to take the reading so first set all the value that means adjacent and gain at a maximum and set as a I told according to theory your adjacent value should be higher than the gain value so set the adjacent at a 20 and gain let's uh, try to set the gain it's a very sensitive so keep patience uh, by using gain knob we set this gain at a 10 now move this micrometer screw gaze anti-clockwise and simultaneously observe in a meter scale current meter scale you will find at a particular point your current meter showing maximum deflection and after that if you continuously rotate your uh, micrometer screw gauge then you will find that uh, your meter scale showing this showing minimum deflection that means at uh, that point where your uh, maximum deflection is shown by this meter scale current meter scale note down that reading from uh, micrometer screw gauge and remember one thing uh, remember one thing your uh, reading difference is approximate constant